are less than seven weeks until Election Day, and Virginia will be a battleground with every seat in the General Assembly up for grabs. And we've invited the candidates from the Senate and House districts that represent the Richmond Metro to come on CBS 6 News at 7 here to talk about their campaigns. Tonight, I'm joined by Sheila Bynum Coleman, a Democratic challenger running for election to House District 66, which includes southern central Chesterfield all the way down to Colonial Heights. It also includes a very small portion of Richmond. Ms. Bynum Coleman, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. So tell us, what is this election about? This election is about people versus corporations and special interest groups. I'm challenging an incumbent that's been in office for 29 years, and this is about the people having a voice in our government and issues being addressed and moving Virginia forward and having new leadership. And what are the principal issues that concern you? I saw you had gun, gun violence on your uh, website. Uh, what exactly do you want to see happen there? When I spoke to the speaker, he had said technically the special session is still open, even though it seemed like it got shut abruptly without dealing some of the issues of gun violence. What are the bills that you would support? Universal background checks. We have to realize that there is an epidemic, a problem facing our communities. My daughter was shot in 2016. I'm so and sorry. She survived, but this weekend my friend's son, godson, was murdered leaving a nightclub. We have to protect our families and our communities. And by not doing anything during the special session, my opponent disrespected the process, the citizens of Virginia, because every member of the General Assembly came to, this, to Richmond on taxpayers' dollars to address the gun violence epidemic that we have here. We have got to address it. And right now, we have to start with universal background checks. When I'm out in the community talking to people, I'm talking to members of the NRA who say they want to see universal background checks. I also want to make sure that we're raising teacher pay above the national average. Not in five years, not in ten years. We're still in, well below it, right? Oh my gosh, below it. yes. And it, it shouldn't take five, ten, fifteen years. Virginia is ranked number ten in the nation in wealth. This is about our priorities and our values. We can raise teacher pay, and we should do it now in the next session. And you also talked about the environment, that uh, that's something that should be a, a focus. It was among the top three of your items. What, what specifically would you like to see done? We want to make sure that everyone has access to clean water and clean air. We want to make sure that we have regulations to make sure that the water is clean. Right now, our government is removing regulations and we'll have more chemicals that are in our water. And that, to me, is an atrocity to the people. We've got to regulate our water and making sure that we have clean water and everyone has access to it. CNBC has said that Virginia is the best state in the country to do business in and Speaker Cox when he was here said that is because of Republican policies despite the fact that a Democrat has been in the governor's office for the last six years or so. Is that a fair assessment? Virginia is ranked number one for businesses. However, the minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. We have people that cannot take care of their families, that cannot afford to pay their rent or their mortgage and pay their utility bills. We've got to bring up the minimum wage and we have to make sure that we have a livable wage where people can take care of their families. And yes, it's, it's good for business, but we also need to make Virginia good for people and good for workers. And you also talked about the women's rights and LGBTQ uh, rights. What would you do there? I want to make sure that People who belong to the LGBTQ community are created equally. I'm fighting for equality, liberty, and justice for all. These should not just be words that we read or we talk about. These should be the principles in which we live by, and no one should be discriminated for their, their sexual orientation, their gender identity. We should, all, we should live in a society where people are treated equally, and I want to make sure that people are protected. And as far as women's rights, uh, do you see those being eroded? Of course, Virginia needs to be the 38th state to ratify the ERA. As a woman, I should be paid the same amount as you for the same work. Women have to be included in the Constitution and make sure that we're treated equally. That's, I don't even know why it's up for debate. Why, why is it up for debate? Why is it that in 2019, women are not included in our U.S. Constitution? And finally, we have just a little bit of time left. As far as creating jobs or jobs themselves, uh, we talked about Virginia being a, uh, a, 
a great place for businesses. Uh, what are your thoughts on what can be done to increase, to expand opportunities there? We have to have a robust workforce. We we have a workforce development center that it is underutilized. We've got to get people back to work and we have to do more training. Everyone's not going to go to college and even those who have gone to college are still struggling to get a, a job. So we have to make sure that we are training people so that they can be ready for the new new jobs that are available. Artificial intelligence is coming, no matter what. It's coming. When I'm in the grocery store today, there were less checkout lines. They were all automated. We have got to make sure that we're creating a robust workforce and we're training people for the new world-class jobs that we're getting. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sheila Bynum Coleman, a Democratic challenger in House District 66. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. And once again, we've invited all the candidates in all the races here on CBS 6 News at 7. And once we interview them, we'll post all the interviews at WTBR.com.